Another interesting thing that I learned that benefited me a lot is So we are starting this weekend as usual with a wonderful hike. We are in Coquitlam right now. We are going towards Crystal Falls and we have already been on this hike before. It's not a very challenging one. It takes about an hour and 30 minutes to complete. And after the hike we are planning to do a couple of Christmas errands. We are planning to go to uh, home and get some uh, vegan chocolate for Christmas stockings and then we are planning to stop by a big grocery store and get some ingredients for cocktails we're gonna make this weekend and also for some Christmas, Christmas cookies! cookies. <laughs> Twenty twenty has been quite emotionally challenging and it brought us something that no one could expect. But still it doesn't mean that the year has been necessarily bad in all the aspects of our life. And I just always try to see positive. I can personally count quite a few positive things that happened to me during this year and I would love if you could share with me what positive things happened to you and maybe you can relate to some of the things. The first positive thing that I've learned during this year was how to spend time with myself, how to process my emotions, how to sit with my own thoughts. My job has always been very active and very social. I was always surrounded by so many people, but since quarantine started, I was self-isolating obviously for several months. I think that that what made me dig deeper in myself and try to listen to myself, try to understand myself, try to identify how I feel and also try to listen to my intuition, be more in tune with my body, with my mind. I've discovered some parts of me, some parts of my personality that I didn't know were there. I uncovered some fears that were hidden deep inside and I did a lot of inner work and I think that this has been the most important part of this year because I do feel that I grew emotionally and just personally as a human being. The next thing that this year helped me to learn is how to be more gentle to myself, especially taking into account my physical body because obviously quarantine, we are not moving that much, we are not exercising, we are not going to the gym. At first it was very hard for me to accept that my body is going to be changing. I learned to accept all these changes. First of all, we are not in control of everything that's happened to us. 
And second, our bodies are meant to be changing and there is nothing wrong with that. Granted, I started exercising less, moving less, probably spending a little bit more time on the couch with Netflix and probably eating a little bit more of chocolate cupcakes. But that's what my body needed, that's what my mind needed, that's what I needed to cope with my emotions and that worked for me. And I learned how to accept that, how to embrace the changes, how to embrace these feelings and how to not be too harsh on myself when I wanted to have some extra chocolate. If chocolate was the way to cope with my emotions, then it was the way to cope with my emotions. And when I figure out another way to cope with my emotions, I'll try another way. But for now, whatever we are experiencing and whatever we are craving mentally and physically, I learned to accept that, embrace that, and just go on with my life. Another interesting thing that I learned that benefited me a lot is I actually figured out what I really liked. Before pandemic started, I was living my life in my habits and in my small rituals. My life was pretty smooth. I don't really like changes that much. So, for example, with the gym. Like, I used to go to the gym three to four times a week. I used to struggle. I used to push myself through that. But it's just, it was my routine. That's what I was used to. That was the way I was living my life. So, I was just sticking to it. Besides, everyone was saying that going to the gym is super, super good. And that's what you are supposed to do and whatever. Yeah, that's how I live my life. But... Since I was limited to the amount of time I can go to the gym and like I actually just stopped going to the gym when they closed, I found out in other types of exercising that I liked more. I actually discovered that I like hiking and walking and I like yoga and I like just home follow-on workouts. That turned out to be working for me perfectly and if not... For this year I would never discover that. I would probably still keep going to the gym and keep suffering through my trainings and not anticipating the next time I'm gonna go but I would still go just because it was a routine. I'm happy right now that I kind of broke that habit and now I have new healthier habits for my body and for my mind. The next thing I've learned over this year is how to de-stress and I discovered many mm, stress relief mechanisms that turned out to be working for me greatly and two of those ones are yoga and reading and yoga obviously it's something that helps me to distract from my thoughts i know many people like breathing exercises but i just like yoga more because i'm also concentrating on the way i move that's why it helps me distract from the stressors way better and the second one is reading as i mentioned and only reading paper books actually helps me to distress because I think there is something about holding a book and feeling its pages brings me right back into the present moment and I'm not distracted to anything else. Holding an actual book brought back that childhood excitement for reading and now I've purchased quite a few books, paper books that I wanted to read so bad. And reading paper books does make a huge difference and if you're also someone who loves reading and like you don't read paper books, try to read paper books. They will help you relax and distress and just go back to the present, go back to this moment. Another thing I've learned over this year is how to live a simpler lifestyle. Since pandemic, I obviously started to do less shopping. I stopped buying things and I don't miss that. I actually feel so much free inside if it makes sense because i am not cluttered like i actually got rid of a lot of things during this year and i just feel easier and i feel lighter i feel that i feel more spacious not only in my place but in my mind and just in, in general in my body and the final thing that i've learned over this year is how to be brave enough to start something new I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I, like, I kept postponing it because I was scared, I was self-conscious, I wasn't sure if people are gonna watch it and so on and so forth. So I found this strength in me this year to actually look inside and figure out why I want to do this. And I decided to take this chance and to do it for me because I do enjoy it, I do like recording videos, keeping these memories and 
I think it's it has been such a wonderful distraction for me. It has been such a wonderful hobby. And yes, if not for this year, if not for all these opportunities and all this time that I had in my hands, I would probably keep postponing it. So this became a really great outlet for creativity for me and I'm super grateful for that. So these are all the positive and wonderful things that happened to me over this year and I'm excited to take them with me into the next year and to start the next year feeling positive and motivated and inspired and happy human being. Traveling Christmas style 